Hi everybody, welcome to Cards TV. This is Mary, and today I want to show you uh, two small cards that you could use for either a note card or also for a thank you card. And these cards are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that means I cut my paper at three and three quarters by seven and a half, scored it in the middle, and folded it in half, and came up with these little cards. I also made uh, little envelopes for them, and these envelopes are four by four square. I used Hello Kitty to cut the strawberry and the cherries. I think that's a really cute cartridge. And I used Beyond Birthdays to cut the envelope. These are two cartridges that I've got that I haven't used in quite a while, and that's why I decided to pull them out and take a look and see what I could do with them. And I'm always needing some thank you cards. So I thought on this one, I could put thank you very much, spelled like a strawberry. And this one I could put thank you cherry much. Or if I decide I don't want to do that, I can leave it blank inside, like I've done with this one. But let me go ahead and uh, give you the dimensions of everything. Find that on page 31 in your Hello Kitty manual. There it is right there, cut it at two inches. And then I went over to the part where it says close. And I cut the two little cherries at two inches. And then I hit shift and close again and I cut the stem and the leaves at two inches. And that's on the cherry. And then I just layered it and I did ink around it just the slightest bit with some white to soften the black. The strawberry, where is that now, is on page 32, the next page over. And I basically did the same thing. I cut the strawberry in black on blackout at two inches. Then under close, I cut the red for the strawberry at two inches. Then I hit shift and close again, and I cut the little green leaves for the top and layered it. Very simple. And like I said, I cut my card at three and three quarters by seven and a half, scored and folded it in half to get the three and three quarters by three and three quarters card. I have a green mat back here, which I cut at three and a half by three and a half, and I ran it through my cuddle bug with the Swiss dots to pick up the strawberry seeds. And then this bottom paper is some uh, strawberry paper that came in the die cuts with the view sweet matte stack. I also found the cherry paper in there. And I cut that at one and three quarters by three and a half and put it on top of the green mat. And then I put some ribbon and tied a little bow there. My mat on the inside is also three and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to put one of these together for you real quickly, and then we're going to uh, show you how to do the envelope. All you need is your two-way glue pen, and we'll go ahead and get this cherry layered together. It's very simple, and as always, work as quickly as you can with the two-way glue because it does dry really quickly. But it's great for small things. There's the stem and the leaves. And then we'll get our little cherries on the bottom here. I just love Hello Kitty. It's got the cutest things on it. Haven't used it much though. I think I need to dig into it and see what I can come up with. It may have lots of surprises on it like a child's year. Okay, there's our cherry. And we're going to put the cherry on two thicknesses of foam tape. So I'll go ahead and cut these out. And I just fold it in half, take the paper off, and stick it on the back. very quick. I know it's probably faster to use pop dots, but I don't think you get as much for your money with the pop dots as you do the foam tape. 
This one I'm just going to go across with it. Take that off and then I'll cut another strip and put it on top of that. And then we're just going to put this over to the side while we finish putting our card together. Okay, well let's just lay that over there. Okay, we're going to put our ribbon on. And I'm going to take my glue runner, run down one side, and then I'm going to come down on the other side too, but I'm going to leave a little gap because that's where I'm going to put my bow. Just wrap it around. Then we're going to take another piece, and where I didn't glue it down, I'm going to stick that under and tie our bow. I've made six of these, three cherries and three strawberries. And we'll just cut it off at an angle. It's a pretty quick way to make a bow. There are several ways. This is just another one. And there's our little bow. And we're going to go ahead and put this on the front before we put our cherry on. And we'll center this. And now our little cherry. And I've moved it down just a little bit. And press that down. There we go. Now, let's get our envelope made. I used Beyond Birthdays, and I used the square envelope on page 139, and I cut the envelope there it is right there. You hit shift and then the square envelope and I cut it at five and a half and that gave me a four by four envelope. And there's two ways to score it. Oh, I'm getting too crowded over here. You can score it in your trimmer or you can use a ruler or if you have a score pal. But this works just fine. Just line up your edges, score it very quickly, make our plane. Okay, the sides fold in like this. And then the top has a wider flap than the bottom. But we're going to go ahead and put some glue right down here. And fold that flap over. Run some glue down here. And fold up the bottom. And there's our little square 4x4 envelope. There you go. A set of little cards that you can use for thank you cards or note cards. Thanks so much for stopping by today, guys. I really appreciate it. You have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.